Oh, it was just brilliant, wasn't it, to be able to sit at a computer and, and work. Didn't you say yeah. that? Because <laughs> I came from the linear background, and to have in front of you a huge vision mixer and a 9100 edit controller and an A53 um, DVE where you could do all your effects and then the A66, when you were controlling this, you felt like you were the sort of captain of the Starship Enterprise. And it felt very belittling in a way just to go this, which everyone thinks they can do. Yeah. So with that one, you, you walk in and you've got, you've got instant sort of respect because yeah, you're yeah. like, no one you're knows like what it's pilot. doing. Yeah, exactly. Whereas here you go, oh, that's a computer, I can use that. Yeah. But they can't. No, it was like the difference between, um, you know, obviously, you know, typing on a typewriter and, yeah. and being on a word processor, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so we had our screen. So instead of those two big screens, we'd have like these little screens that we do still now. Mm. And, um, and then we've got our bins, so you just press that, wouldn't you? Create yeah. a bin, which would be where you'd put your material. Um, let's see if there's any in here already first. Oh yeah, look, there's some here. So that's it. So uh, what I loved was you can see, that I could see it as frames, and you could make the frames bigger or smaller, and you could just suddenly you got frame find so your material yeah, exactly, like that. really quickly. Um, Do you ever use script? You could change the name. No, I didn't. I I, um, you mean where you can... It's there, isn't it? I never use it either. Oh, that? Oh, yeah. yes. No, sorry, no. And then you could write little notes mm. in, couldn't you? Like, I don't know, how, doing mm. whatever. Um, no, I never. I was. I would just like the frames, and I still do. And I wonder if you... See how you... This isn't... Um, yeah, how do you make it bigger again? Yeah. Is it control A and then plus something or other? That was what was so brilliant, though, um, was that you could actually use the Avid to suit you, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, you so know, it's still fantastic. Yeah, because so. you could. I mean, there were different ways of making the frames bigger. Because I know now I just do Apple L. But, um, I never use them, so. Uh, can't even see how to do it on here. Let's see. Clip. Hmm. Go on. Do the shortcut. There Yay. you go. Straight away. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, so that nice big frame. So you could have, you'd fill that with frames, mm. and um, and you you had to be very careful about how much footage you were putting in, didn't you? So you just. Well, it depends on how much storage you had, but we didn't have much storage then. And there's the drives. Yeah. Storage drives. This looks um, like a big one. This is one of the more new, the newer ones, isn't it? Yeah. Because originally we used to have those big ones that would just have like a couple of gigabytes on and you'd have these, those towers that we were talking about. I think we had, when I was working in China, I think we might have had 21 gigabytes between both Avids. And oh. so we'd always be shifting drives around and then you'd be plugging them in and then suddenly it wouldn't be working and you'd have some kind of SCSI conflict and then you'd be looking at it going, so the SCSI connectors on the back and the SCSI, they had SCSI port numbers. Yes, oh um, yeah, and the numbers had to be, each drive had to have a different number and if you had to number, the same, yeah. and you have only use got it. And, oh. zero to nine to use and, if you, and one of those numbers you couldn't use. Yeah, there were loads of, uh, so suddenly we had a, even though we had this whole new fantastic liberating world, we had a lot of technical <laughs> stuff to get our heads around and, I'm not the most technical person at the best of times, but I managed to do it. I think it's partly working at Avid, obviously. I, 